First thing we want to do is remove our dipstick. This is going to help our crankcase vent properly when draining our engine oil. After that, using a 17 millimeter socket, we'll go ahead and remove the drain bolt and let the engine oil drain completely. As the oil is draining, now's a good chance to check the condition of the crush washer. If it's damaged or missing, you want to replace it to prevent any future leaks. After it's drained, we'll go ahead and reinstall the drain bolt, but this time torque it to 25 foot pounds. Now it's time to fill the unit with oil. Honda recommends that this unit hold 0.8 quarts of Honda 10W40 motorcycle oil. You can use any type of oil here as long as it's designed for a wet clutch system. Install our dipstick. And this time we're going to start the engine up and let it idle for just a few moments. That's going to get the oil circulated through the system properly. Once it's done that, we'll shut the engine down and let it sit for a few more moments. That's going to help us achieve an accurate oil level reading. Now we'll remove the dipstick and wipe off the excess oil and then simply place the stick on top of the threads and lift it back out to check our oil level. And this looks great, so let's hit the trails.